Hey everybody, so my name is Jelmer and Daniel invited me to talk a little bit about how and when did you start playing the guitar. So I was about six years and in the Netherlands we have a very beautiful program for young kids to discover like what kind of instrument would fit to me, what would I like to play. So every week we had like an opportunity to play the violin, to play guitar, to play the drums. Maybe even you figure out that you're a vocalist. And I desperately wanted to be a drummer. But in the street where we were living, there was a drummer banging the shit out of his drums like there's no tomorrow, 24-7. So my parents were like, <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> no drums are going to come in this house. So then I started to get more and more interested in playing guitar. And then this little lady came into my life. My first guitar ever. Still with me. Still playing on it. Still having fun with it. So that's actually how it started. And before an electric guitar came into my life, that's an whole other story. <laughs> Daniel asked me also like, what was one of the first riffs you were playing? And I guess that everybody who discovers metal music, being a guitar player, who doesn't want to learn Wasted Years from Iron Maiden, that was definitely one of the first licks I had to nail. So in the beginning I did not really have like a, a particular guitar hero or something, because I was super young. So actually my first concert ever was a guy called Paco Peña. A very well-known uh, flamingo player from Spain. And I was really impressed, like, whoa, how can you do that kind of stuff? I think that was my first guitar hero, I guess. <laughs> and I don't mean the game. So, like I showed you before, this is my first guitar ever. And this guitar, the Ibanez, is mainly used on uh, the recordings for Always. The one I used quite a lot on Nighttime Birds and Mandelion. I had to sell it, because I needed some money. <laughs> Who doesn't? And this baby, the Les Paul, will never, ever, ever leave my life again. It sounds so freaking awesome. So these are actually, yeah, the main three guitars in my life. So a little bit about the amplifiers we were using for the guitars on the recordings in the early days. Always is definitely recorded with a GCM 800 and no effects, no nothing, just the distortion and the clean sound from the amp. So actually the first real pedal board we had was like a, a boss. Huge thing with all kind of delays, choruses, reverb, whatsoever. Actually the first pitch shifter sounds. Strange Machines is born on a guitar which is not detuned, but played on a guitar with a pitch shifter. With a bit too much of pre-delay on it, so it was a bit weird playing that. <laughs> and in the end, of in the end, uh, later on I uh, got myself a, a Rocktron Intellifax. A great machine, sounds really awesome. If you can get your hands on a thing like that, if you're still into analog guitar playing, which I'm not, it's a great sounding thing for just a few pennies. You can upgrade your guitar sound mejor. Yeah, like I said in the beginning, it was just pure metal guitars. A bit of clean sound, a little bit of delay, a bit of chorus for the clean parts, and that was actually it. On Mandelion Santa Mercury I used uh, the bottleneck and a really pitch shifting delay to create that spaced out sound. And of course on uh, Nighttime Birds I used the bottleneck for the song Nighttime Birds. And also Rene came up to play the theremin. Mm -hmm. 